Hello my friends, may God bless you. Hope you all are having a blessed Sunday. May the joy of the Lord be your strength. So today will be the part 14, the final part of the Bible study sessions of the four Gospels. So today we, we will be going to read some important verses uh, from the Gospel of Luke. So today we will be going to start from the Gospel of Luke chapter 22 verse 39 to 46. First we will be going to read the Gospel of Luke chapter 22 verse 39 to 46 which is regarding Jesus' praise on the Mount of Olives. Please continue to read with me. Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives and his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them, knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will be yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. When he rose from prayer and went back to the disciples, he found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. Why are you sleeping? He asked them. Get up and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. And now we'll be going to read the Gospel of Luke chapter 22 verse 47 to, 6, 47 to 53. It is regarding Jesus arrested. While he was still speaking, a crowd came up and the man who was called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? When Jesus' followers saw what was going to happen, they said, Lord, should we strike with our swords? And one of them struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his right ear. But Jesus answered, No more of this. And he touched the man's ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the chief priest, the officers of the temple guard, and the elders who had come for him, Am I leading a rebellion, that you have come with swords and clubs? Every day I was with you in the temple courts, and you did not lay a hand on me. But this is your hour when darkness reigns. By the first verse you could understand, and he touched the man's ear and healed him. He touched uh, the ear of the servant of the high priest, which was cut off by Peter, and he healed him. By that you could understand, Jesus Christ is very compassionate. He is a very compassionate uh, God. And now we'll be going to read the Gospel of Luke chapter uh, 22, verse 40, 22, verse 54 to 62. It is regarding Peter disowns Jesus. Then seizing him, they led him away and took him into the house of the high priest. Peter followed at a distance, but when they had kindled a uh, fire in the middle of the courtyard and had sat down together. Peter sat down with them. A person, a servant girl, saw him as seated in the firelight. She seated there in the firelight. She looked closely at him and said, This man was with him. But he denied it. Woman, I don't know him, he said. A little later, someone else saw him and said, You are, you also are one of them. Man, I am not, Peter replied. About an hour later, another asserted, Certainly this fellow, this, certainly this fellow was with him, for he is a Galilean. Peter replied, Man, I don't know what you were talking about. Just as he was speaking, the rooster crowed. The Lord turned and looked straight at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word of the Lord had spoken to him. Before the rooster crows today, you will disown me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. It was prophesied by Jesus before that that Peter will deny, will disown Jesus Christ three times before the rooster crows that day. And now we'll be going to read the Gospel of Luke, chapter twenty-three, verse chapter twenty-two, verse sixty-three. 66 to 69. It is regarding Jesus before Pilate and Herod. At daybreak, the council of the elders of the people, both the chief priests and teachers of the law, met together and Jesus was led before them. If you are the Christ, they said, tell us. Jesus answered, I tell you, you will not believe me. And if I asked you, you would not answer. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the mighty God. And now we'll be going to read the Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verse 1 to 7. Then the whole assembly rose and led him off to Pilate. And they began to accuse him, saying, We have found this man subverting our nation. He opposes payment of taxes to Caesar and claims to be Christ, a king. So Pilate asked Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? Yes, it is as you say. 
Jesus replied. Then Pilate announced to the chief priest and the crowd, I found no basis for a charge against this man. But they insisted, he styles up the people of all over Judea by his teaching. He started in Galilee and has come all the way here. On hearing this, Pilate asked if the man was a Galilean. When he learned that Jesus was under Herod's uh, jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who was also in Jerusalem at that time. And now we'll be going to read the Gospel of Luke chapter 23 verse 13 to 16. Pilate called together the chief priests, the rulers, and the people, and said to them, You brought me this man as one who was inciting the people's rebellion. I have examined him in your presence, and have found no basis for your charges against him. Neither has Herod, for he sent him back to us, as you can see. He has done nothing to deserve death. Therefore, I will punish him and then release him. And now we'll be going to read the Gospel of Luke chapter 23 verse 18 with one voice they cried out away with this man release Barabbas to us Barabbas had been thrown into prison for an insurrection insurrection in the city and for murder and now we'll be going to read the gospel of Luke chapter 21 chapter 23 verse 21 to 22 but they kept shouting crucify him crucify him for the third time he spoke to them why what crime has this man committed i have found him in him no grounds for the death penalty therefore i will have him punished and then release him and now we'll be going to read the gospel of luke chapter 23 verse 25 he released the man who had been thrown into prison for insurrection and murder the one they asked for and surrendered jesus to their will and now we'll be going to read the gospel of luke chapter 23 verse 20 4 to 25. So Pilate decided to grant their demand. He released the man who had been thrown into prison for insurrection and murder the one they asked for and surrendered Jesus to their will. And now we'll be going to read the Gospel of Luke chapter 23 verse 20, 23 verse 44 to 46. It is regarding the crucifixion. It is regarding Jesus' death. It was now about the sixth hour and darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour. For the sun stopped shining and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he said this, he breathed his last. And now we'll be going to read the Gospel of Luke chapter 24, verse 1 to 5. It is regarding the resurrection. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the woman took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, he has risen. Remember how he told you while he was with you in Galilee. The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of the sinful men, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Then they remembered his words. And now we'll be going to read the Gospel of Luke chapter 24, verse 50 to 53. It is regarding the ascension. When he had led, led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they stayed continually at the temple praising God. So by this you could understand regarding the story of Lord Jesus Christ regarding the gospel of the regarding the four regarding the four Gospels. So if you have any questions regarding this Bible study or regarding any past Bible study, feel free to comment down below and I will provide you with the answers. So I hope everything is coherent in these 14 parts of the Bible studies. Uh, so as I have said, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I will provide you with the answers. 
regarding this Bible study or regarding any Bible study. So we should praise God and thanks give to God for He has given us a great strength, great wisdom and great understanding in order to do these Bible studies and in order to make these Bible studies as a success. He has given us a great knowledge and wisdom regarding the four Gospels through these 14 parts of the Bible study sessions. So, so thanks for watching and God bless you. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the tomorrow's Bible study, which is from the book of Acts. So my dear friends, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you today, tomorrow and always. And may God bless you in abundance. Amen.